This is problem number two from section 2.4. In this problem, it says use the following function and its graph to answer uh, parts A through D below. And they give you a piecewise function where this linear equation is represented for x values less than 3, and this one is for x values greater than 3. And in part A, they say find the limit of f of x uh, as x approaches 3 from the right. So you notice we're going to be doing some one-sided limits. That's what this section is all about, is one-sided limits. And then we're going to compare the one-sided limits to finding just the limit of a spot. And we've kind of already talked about this in class, so it should go pretty smooth. So because it says uh, x approaches 3 from the positive side, meaning it's approaching it from the right side. So anytime you see this, you might just put mark an arrow that I'm going to look at it from this side. And this is approaching 3 from the negative side, which is from the left side. So I'm looking left to right. So as x approaches 3 from the right, well, x is 3 here. As I approach from the right, I'm approaching the y value of 4. So the limit as x approaches 3 from the right equals 4. And then as I approach it from the left for the next part, so limit of the function, I should probably put f of x in here, limit of f of x as x approaches 3 from the left that equals, so as I come from the left and approach 3, I'm equaling 2. So the limit from the right is 4, and the limit from the left is 2. It says, does the, F, uh, does the limit as uh, x approaches 3 of f of x exist? The answer to that is no. No, because the right and left limits aren't equal. So they have to be equal in order for us to have a limit overall. They have their own limits, you know, when we're just looking at them from the right and from the left, but if we say what's the limit as x approaches 3, we can't say because they're two different numbers. So because they're not the same, there's no limit. The limit does not exist for x approaches 3. Now it says the limit of f of x as x approaches 5 from the right. So let's go to 5, and we're looking at just this spot right here, I'll mark it. As we approach it from the right, we get x equals 6, so we're going to say that this equals 6. And as we approach it from the left, we also get 6, so this equals 6 as well. So it does f of x exist for the limit as x approaches 5? Well, because the limit on each side equals the same number, we can say that the limit of f of x as x approaches 5 equals 6 because the right and left limits exist. Left limits, I shouldn't say exist, are equal. That's the key, they're equal. 